Hey, what's up guys? This is Johan and on this video, I'll be doing a DIY build of some LED lights that I've been working on for the past few months. This build is going to have two to four parts. This first part is going to go over how I disassemble the LED grow lights and also how I put them together and test them and test the wireless feature. All of the parts for the build are going to be linked down in the description below. Just in case you want to follow or want to do a similar build like mine, you could find the parts. There are two main parts of this build, a Lumatech LED grow light, which has 12 LED diodes, 10 660 nanometer red, which I will be replacing, and two 460 nanometer blue. And the second component of this build is a wireless controller for LED lights. It's by a company called XC Source, and it's, it comes with an app, which I think is really good. Um, the only part I don't like about this one is that it doesn't store your data when the electricity goes off. Um, there is another one, which I'll link in the description, which does have an internal battery to store any um, data that you store. And both of these are on Amazon for about $16.99, so not too bad. Because this is a LED grow light, it has a very pink or purplish tint, not ideal for a reef tank. So I'm going to be replacing all of the red LEDs with some blue 40, 460 nanometer and a few cool white LEDs. The light comes apart pretty easily. You just got to pop the white ring off and then the lens comes off. Then you got to use your solenoid iron to loosen the wires so you could pull it through once you unscrew it in the back. Um, this prevents any tearing of the actual power supply. There are three Phillips head screws in the back of the light that you're going to unscrew in order to pull the wires through and get access to the power supply. The LEDs come off pretty easily. Just use your soldering iron to melt the existing solder and the needle nose pliers to remove the actual light itself. After I removed all the red LEDs that I wanted to, I added some thermal paste to help with the cooling of the LEDs because this is actually a heat, heat sink and without the thermal paste, the LEDs won't be able to transfer the heat properly. Here's a closer look at the LEDs. The left is a red LED with that orange um, center and the blue is on the right. There is a positive and negative terminal. The larger side marked on the screen is the negative terminal and the smaller side is the positive terminal. The entire LED board is wired in series. So if you happen to put the positive terminal on the negative terminal, then it won't work. None of the lights will work. So here's the actual wireless controller. It has uh, five channels um, and it is wirelessly controlled. Like I said before, it does come with an app, which is makes it a little bit nice to use. Um, I will have a little bit quick clip on the end where I do use the app. Whilst I was playing around with the um, wireless card, I realized that it actually fits directly in the heatsink. So it's possible that you could just make one light um, controllable so that might be something I might do in the future um, for another video or something so this is the actual power supply for the LED light it's just a simple um, PCB board um, with a few resistors and it changes 120 volts into 24 volts um, I am gonna be using this power supply to power the wireless controller and two LED lights. Anything more is um, goes overboard and overheats the power supply itself. So what I'm about to do is just wire up the power supply into the, the wireless controller. And then I'm gonna wire the power supply into 120 volt input. Um, I did not show this part because it is dangerous and if you're not trained in electronics, I don't want you to be messing around with uh, high voltage electronics. Once I was done wiring all the lights together the way I wanted it to, then I added power to the lights. Um, they come on for click flicker, flicker, then they stop and then the lights come back on and they gradually dim in between each one.
Alright, that's pretty much it. So here is that clip I was telling you about earlier where I was using my phone to control these lights. Um, I'll go into detail a little bit more on the next video with this. Um, this is just a quick little demo so you guys could see what I'm talking about. Um, I'm coming up about six minutes on this video, so I'm trying to keep it a little bit short. Um, but yeah, so it is wirelessly controlled. Um, and there you go, you can dim, you could add colors, um, it depends on what where you put the channels and all that you know it's a pretty little neat app